Hi everybody, my name's Genevieve. I'm going to read you a story. Today, I'm going to read The Little Red Hen. The Little Red Hen, a favorite folk tale. Pictures by J.P. Miller. So this is a little golden book, and this is a very, very old story. It's so old, they don't even know who wrote it. But they can say, J.P. Miller, the illustrations. One summer day, the little red hen found a grain of wheat. A grain of wheat, said the little red hen to herself. I will plant it. She asked the duck, Will you help me plant this grain? Will you help me plant this grain of wheat? Not I, said the duck. She asked the goose, Will you help me plant this grain of wheat? Not I, said the goose. Hmm. She asked the cat, Will you help me plant this grain of wheat? Not I, said the cat. She asked the pig, will you help me plant this grain of wheat? Not I, said the pig. It's too bad, she's not getting any help. And I will plant it myself. Said the little red hen, and she did. Soon the wheat grew tall, and the little red hen knew it was time to reap it. Who will help me reap the wheat, she asked. There's these guys again. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the goose. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the cat. Then I will reap it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. So when you reap wheat, it's essentially when you pick it. It's when you cut it down. In case you didn't know. So there's that. There's the next page. Hmm. So she reaped the wheat and it was ready to be taken to the mill and made into flour. Who will help me carry the wheat to the mill, she asked. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the goose. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the pig. Then I will carry it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. The car she carried the wheat to the mill and the miller made it into flour. Cool, huh? Mm-hmm. When she got home, oops. when she got home, she asked, who will help me make the flour into dough? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the goose. Not I, said the pig. Then I will make the dough myself, she said, said the little red hen. And she did. She really did. Soon the bread was ready to go into the oven help me bake the bread, said the little red hen. Hmm. Maybe this time one of them will help? I hope so. Good friends help each other. Not I, said the duck. Oh, not I, said the goose. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the pig. So none of them are going to help her bake that. Tisk tisk. Then I will bake it myself, said the little red hen, and she did. 
After the loaf had been taken from the oven, it was set on the windowsill to cool. <clears throat> and now, said the little red hen, who will help me eat the bread? <gasps> I will, said the duck. I will, said the goose. I will, said the cat. I will, said the pig. No, I will eat it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. Good for her. Nobody helped her, and she asked, we need to help. And there she is, getting a good night's rest because she worked so hard through the day and got all of her things done. The end. And this is the back. Well, thank you for tuning in today. Well, I read the Golden Book version of The Little Red Hen, which is a folk, a folk tale um, with the illustrations in this one by J.P. Miller. As always, take care of you and yours. Make sure you're good for your grown-ups, good to them and good for them. Take good care of them like they took good care of you. Right, thanks. Bye.